How's it going YouTube? Come back to another video. And today, guys, with the brand new is going to be the Nemesis Tier Limit deck that I've been showing off on Twitter. This is absolutely fantastic. Been working really well. Do you think that this is going to be really effective moving forward? The Nemesis cards are really crazy, especially when your opponent sides in Bishals and you can just shuffle back your names anyway. It's pretty fantastic, and you also get a lot of free bodies out of it. So essentially, what we're doing with this deck is we're going to be in a position where we can send a flag to the graveyard via Beatrice or via Mill. We're going to bring it back here with the Promethean Princess, use the effect to go ahead and grab the Protos or the Corridor. If you open Corridor, then you get Protos and Corridor, so that means you get Protos and Colossus. Uh, otherwise, you have to choose one or the other. Um, if you open Umbrella and then you mill into one of these, then you also get both, uh, which is also pretty cool. So here, what's really neat about this is now you can use the Promethean and the Nemesis Flag to make Sprint and dump Merly, which then you can go ahead and make another fusion with the Merly. Um, you can banish three off of the Protos, and you can use Corridor and another one to go into your SP. Um, you could call Dark before this and do something different than the SP. You could leave up the Sprint and call Fire. You could use the Sprint for the Colossus and then make a rank four with the Corridor and like a Rhino or a Serpent. So there's a lot of different ways you can do this. Um, the combo, again, it's going to be a lot more organic. It's not going to be something where it's just like you summon connect there and you do this, you do this. Like Tier has always been a fishbully deck. So this is something where dependent on your hand and how you get as far as you will with your mills, it's going to alter. But this line is super clean and it comes up quite often. Being able to slap down a Colossus or a Protoss to the board is really effective. Especially the fact that when you play multiple Mali and then you're playing the Nemesis cards, you resolve Mali like six times. So this is what we ran into before when it was a problem and the card got put to two, which I think it'll go right back to two, honestly. The card's just not healthy for the game. Um, this was a game three versus the Thunder Dragon deck. Uh, so I'm going to be going ahead here and grabbing my Shiren out. Really had to get something going here. So getting some mills, getting the Serpent out. I get asked this every time I showcase here. This is Night Sword Serpent. It just reborns itself. It's a very good card, uh, especially when you're going for your totally awesome. Uh, so we're going to make Banshee, which we're going to detach one here. Be able to add the Nemesis flag since it is a pyro. Go ahead and mill another three here. Get to the Scream, and then we're we'll adding another Soliac, and now we have the Mali as well. Uh, so a lot of times here too, if you need to be able to banish something without a Mali access, you can at least make SP and banish one of your cards to be able to get a shuffle back going. Uh, so here we can go ahead and shuffle back the Mali. Um, even if we get nibbed here, it's fine because we still have the Merly, so we can still try to make something out of the board, especially because we have a Mali and a Merly. So at that point, we can go ahead and make a dangerous and go into a Beatrice line here, uh, which is even better. Uh, so lots of things that you can do here add the protos so i was really trying to find a way here on what to do because my opponent did say that they were thinking when i dumped them early the first time so it gave me a tell that they probably had a bishul so i was like how do i play around this bishul right like how do i do this and we came up with a really clean line on stream so here i made the little knight and i summoned the protos i have the merly on my board this is going to seem a little silly, but it was so crazy. So I summoned the Protoss by banishing the Nemesis Flag, the Sword Serpent, and the Shiren. And you're probably wondering, like, why would you banish the Shiren? That's insane. Well, being able to play around a Bishul is even more crazy. Because here, what I can do is use the Protoss, and then I can call Dark, and then Chain Beatrice. And I dump the Rhino here, popping the SP. So now I can use the Merly effect here, and I can shuffle back the SP to make Mud. And then now I can use the Rhino. Rhino go ahead and send the Crime. And the Crime here is going to be able to add back the Shiren, overlay into Shark with Toad and Soliac. So being able to play around the Bishul there by being able to just go ahead and chain the Beatrice to the Protoss called Dark, uh, my opponent did end up having the Bishul. So it was very clean. Uh, let's go ahead here and talk about the deck list. So a couple things to note here. Uh, we did flip the ratio of three flag to the three corridor. So we have three corridor, one flag, and one umbrella. The umbrella is really solid because if you open it or you have a way to it, it's really cool to be able to just recur things back from the graveyard because we are just milling everything. We do have the nemesis flag where you can go ahead and add any of them whichever one you need in the moment which is really solid and plus it's very accessible through promethean princess which we already saw 
Uh, you can play like a Hita in your extra deck if you have a problem trying to get the Promethean off the board. That's a huge problem that we were seeing. Uh, the other thing too is you might want to play like one Shuffler. I'm debating it, trying to find room for it. I really like the main deck Droll Knockbird right now because there's a lot of decks just spitting out crazy combo and you need something to stop it. Um, the other thing though is Nemesis Corridor. This card's absolutely insane. Uh, I was only playing one, now I'm playing three. This card, it's just so broken. Being able to add something back from the Banished Zone, especially if you have a problem with Bishals, they can just slap a Colossus down, right? Uh, which is perfectly fine for us because we can access a lot of these very easily in the deck. I was really against playing three melee, but I ended up playing three melee. I think it's fine. It hasn't really been a problem so far where it's just been like a huge issue opening up multiple. It's one of those things where you almost need to see a melee because you need something to shuffle back. You still have access through SP to do so, but you still want to see a melee to make sure you can get those plays going, get into that Beatrice, be able to send the fire down to be able to get to your Protoss or your Corridor to get the Colossus or both if you open up the Corridor. Um, and it also plays backwards too. If you open up like any of these, for the most part, you can land on double, but mostly if you open up like the Corridor, it's really clean. Um, I did bump my King Sark back down to two. I wanted to play as close to 40 as possible. I am playing 41. It just helps you with the extra side out slot. It's fine. Um, I'm still playing the Terraforming too. Uh, some people were saying to cut this because like Droll. I don't know. I'm trying to play like max consistency. I want to see this field spell as much as possible. This card's broken. I have been on three Rhino. I think this card is just fantastic still. I am playing the Serpent still, of course. It's a GGYGO tier list. I'm going to be playing this card. This card's fantastic. It's another card just to get a free ring for. Uh, also going to Toad because now we don't have Baron to be able to stop Nibiru. I miss Baron already. That card's fantastic, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, looking at the sideboard, I did put in Super Poly over Nibiru. I think this card just helps you a lot better objectively trying to crack into a board. I think Nibiru sometimes just kind of sits in your hand. And it's unfortunate where this card really does help you, especially this format right now. Um, Ash, really strong. I do like Pink. They might be Bells by the YCS. Uh, I like Bell a lot right now, but Pink also helps you deal with things like Appaloosa. So it's something where you do want to play something like this. But uh, there's going to be a lot of stun everywhere. There's going to be a lot of just like everything at this event. So you kind of have to cater your side to beat just about everything. So kind of tough, but when you're already playing Protoss and Colossus, you're kind of already beating everything, right? So it really depends on what matchup you're playing against and which one you choose to go into. A lot of times right now, I'm either using Mud Dragon to call Light, or I'm just popping my own Beatrice against things like Voiceless Voice. Or if you're playing against a deck that has a lot of Light Monsters. Um, so definitely a lot of very cool things that you can do with this list. Um, definitely a big fan. Uh, so far, so good. But again, like some of the end boards that you just land on are crazy in this deck. And it's like pretty consistent to at least get one of them. Uh, so this is something that you should definitely go ahead and try out on your own. Uh, let me know what you think about it. Again, here's the list for you. I'll leave it down below in the description so you can just get the direct link to it. And uh, I hope you all have a wonderful night. I'll catch you all in the next video. Thank you.